Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a TikTok style video straight from your OBS setting with one click of a button. So let's get straight into it and I'll show you how it's done. So guys, you want to head over to atem.tv. Once you've gone over to there, uh, you will see an ATEM vertical plugin. Make sure this is downloaded, make sure OBS is shut. Make sure this is downloaded, it's free to download, guys, it's free. Make sure you download it. Um, it takes TikTok formats, YouTube shorts, other stuff like that, Reels and you, uh, on Facebook and stuff like that. So make sure you download that. Once that's downloaded, you wanna head over to your OBS. So guys, once you've downloaded vertical, uh, this is what it'll look like. So you will have the vertical um, display capture up here. So it's a different uh, different view from your normal stream. And then the bottom right then you'll have your scenes and then your sources. Okay. So your scenes are just like your normal scenes you have in um, OBS for your normal stream. But these are just for the vertical aspects. So it's, just, it's like two different total canvases, which I like. So I created one. Um, again, I've added these in, so this is my normal display, so as you can see it's the background, but that's blurred, so that is blurred for a reason, because I want the top inch and the bottom inch blurred, like I normally do in my TikTok videos. The next then is the game capture, obviously you can't see this because there's no game running at the moment. Um, this would be in the centre, around about here, so that would fill that, and you'll see that in just a minute now when I'm going to show you what it looks like from both perspectives, both at the same time. Uh, the group bent is my camera. As you can see, um, it's just literally copy and paste it from your sources in OBS over. Um, and yeah, the copy is exactly over, which is absolutely fantastic. And the last but not least then is my map. So that's the another um, display capture. And I cropped it down so it only shows the map bit uh, in the top left hand side because I play a lot of Warzone and Call of Duty. So that's how it looks. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to head over and I'm going to show you uh, first of all what it looks like and then I'm going to show you in more detail how to set it up. So guys, this is what it looks like from the stream perspective. If you press this one button, where well, you can hockey to anything, even a stream deck, and this is what it looks like from the perspective of the TikTok format. So guys, this is what it looks like from the Tic Tac perspective. As you can see, the blur in the background is what I was trying to explain to you with the display capture. You right click, add an effect, and you blur that out. You have the game capture on top, which is the middle bit. As you can see, um, that's the more clearer bit. That's the that's the bit where I want correctly done in the middle. And obviously you've got my minimap up to the top left and me in the top right. So yeah, this is how a Tic Tac format and how you're able to clip simply with one click of a button. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So guys, this is so simple to set up. Literally, you click one install button and one button to install. That is it. All you've got to make sure is OBS is shut down. Once you've done that, um, the way I've done it is I've made two extra uh, display captures, okay? So i got my normal desktop here, which I'll lock, fair enough. Uh, I have display capture, which is the normal display capture, but with a blurred effect on. So you right-click, filter, add a blur. Add a blur over here. Um, my settings for the blur are, are plus seven. That's it. And uh, I changed the type to this Gaussian or Gaussian. Once that's done, adds a nice little blur effect. So that's just all you're gonna see is the top two inches and the bottom two inches of this. That's all I want. Do you know what I mean? Uh, the next thing then, I crop down um, as you can see a part of it, but here, where that's gonna be my mini map. Because I always like a mini map, just in case it's just nicer, a bit more engaging, a bit more easier for people to understand what's going on with the game, where people are coming from, etc. etc. So I always clip that, um, I clip that down by using, well, I can show you over here. If you click on it and then hold down the alt button, you can change the size of it that way. Alright, so you can clip that down that way a lot easier. So that's that, that's the map one, that's that. And the group one, it's just simply my camera. But all you need to do, you don't need no um, audio in there, you don't need nothing, because it all clips it. The only thing you've got to do with this is right click, link scene, and link it to your gameplay scene, or link it to whatever scene you if you've got a, um, I don't know, just chatting screen, make sure it's linked to that screen, because then it'll take all the audio sources from there, okay? In terms of setting this up, we've got a general. This is the settings, so you can change it, what, what, what resolution you want, um, I've got it for 1080p because I stream in 1080p. 
video bit rate, I, I'm going to clip it at 5,000. I normally stream at 7,000 now. Just because I don't know how demanding this is going to be on my PC yet. Um, I only have a very simple PC. Quite low standards. So if I can do it, anybody can do it. All right. <coughs> um, so obviously, I've changed the back in. Uh, the, well, they call it backtracking. I've known it as replay buffer. Uh, it's the exact same thing. Uh, I've changed that to 60 seconds. Simply um, because most of my gameplay is normally within 60 seconds. For sh YouTube Shorts, you need 60 seconds. For Facebook Reels, you need below 60 seconds. So I made sure this clip at under 60 seconds. This is where you choose where you want to save your files. I always save mine into my D folder um, under Stream Clips. And then you can set a hotkey. Once this hotkey is set up, you can then go to your Stream Deck and then set that hotkey up on your Stream Deck. So you just have to press one button. That's it. All right. So once this is on, this is how. This is another way you can clip if you wanted to. If you haven't got the the capability to set up a hockey, you can just press this button, and it'll say, "There you go, backtrack saved." All right. So that's another reason. You can also, if you really wanted to, you can record straight from vert uh, vertical. So you could have gameplay recording, you could do a normal recording. And you could do your vertical recording at the same time, just in case you 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 were doing a uh, vertical style video. That's a bit more longer form for like TikTok, where you can go up to ten minutes, I believe, on TikTok now. Um, you can record it and then produce it all on there. And this is the best feature, I think, for people who have stream keys. You can actually set up the feature with the stream key itself. So I failed to connect. I don't have a stream key set up, but you can connect. Uh, to TikTok, say, in a, in a vertical format where you're able to produce straight from OBS and get it straight out with your normal style. That you, so you can go live on, on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and go live on TikTok and not have to have two different OBS or two different uh, stream sources open. If you like the video, don't forget to like it. If you um, haven't already, please subscribe. It really helps. We're so close to that 1K. And guys, don't forget to show some love to all the streamers out there. Enjoy, enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.